Push from doctors inside Atlanta's VA hospital to improve security after shooting in the emergency room left one veteran dead. It happened earlier this week. Doctors called for metal detectors and enhanced safety protocols months before Monday's shooting. Now they're urging leadership to listen to them. Atlanta News First reporter Patrick Quinn joins us live at 5 from outside the VA with the latest. Patrick. Alan, doctors and staff members here at the VA, they are still shaken Hi. by the shooting on Monday. And I was able to acquire an email that doctors have been sending to each other in light of the shooting. And they said, bottom line up front, we need to do something to protect the staff and veterans at the VA emergency department and at the medical center in general. And this comes all after Monday, a 58 year old man, a veteran. He walked into the ER. He had a knife on him. And according to authorities, he advanced towards staff members. That's when a VA security officers shot and killed this veteran inside the ER and staff members here and doctors here. They actually raised the alarm about security issues back in July with an online petition signed by more than 100 staff members. And in that petition, they called for in part for scanners to be at the entrances of the ER. Now, we have reached out to the VA today to get answers on if they are um, advancing towards any security enhancements. They have not been able to respond to our inquiries all day long. One of the final things that these doctors wrote, they said, had our recommendations for weapons detectors been instituted, this veteran would still be alive. We're going to continue following the issues here at the VA in Atlanta, outside of that VA Medical Center. Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First. Live.